Hi, this is Ariel from Scott Lurie Marketing, and today I'm going to show you a very exciting new feature that's available in the command platform under the designs option. So today is September 20th, 2019, and this is a brand, brand new feature that just came out um, that we're really excited to show you. So to access it, you're going to log into your command account, which of course is agent.kw.command. And then once you're in your my, or sorry, I was going to say my KW, once you're in your command homepage, it'll say welcome home. And then on the left hand side, here are all of your different options. You're going to click on the option for designs. So once designs loads, this is going to have all of your designs if you've already um, kind of previewed some and, and messed around with it a little bit or created any and saved any. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch down here because we've been testing out a lot of them. Um, if you don't have anything under here yet, that is no problem at all. We're going to go ahead and create a new one. So to create a new design, you'll just click on this huge plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. And today we're going to make a printed flyer. So I'll do print, create template. So this page will pop up when you are creating a new template and it asks you to choose a listing. So this is great if you want to enter a listing for um, a just listed announcement or just sold postcard, open house flyer, anything specific to a listing but we want to focus on the new neighborhood snaps feature. So we're just going to exit out of this. And then it'll direct us over to um, WeBrand. So now that we're in WeBrand, you can see on the left hand side, all the different templates that they have. So they have the open house ones and they split them up into door hangers, flyers, postcards. Um, so there's just sold, just listed, a lot of cool options to check out but today we're gonna focus on neighborhood snap. There are a few different options for flyers, um, door hangers, and then again, the postcards. I like the flyers option because you can save it as a PDF and then print it out anywhere. Um, whereas with the door hangers, you might have to get help with printing it because they're supposed to be a specific size and everything for the purpose of putting them on the doors. Um, but if you want to just go ahead and use a flyer one to have at your open houses or to carry with you when you're door knocking, that's a great option. So I like this one because it has a puppy on it. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just use this option. And then once it loads, it'll show you um, the basic template. So on the left-hand side, here are all of your different options of what you can really add in there to customize the flyer. So if you click on the KWLS option, this is how you can enter either a listing to have the flyer geared towards a listing or snapshots. So I'm going to do, let's see, Savannah, Georgia. And this pulls information from the KWLS. So since this feature is brand, brand new, it might say NA for not applicable for some of your, um, your features down here and that's because it's still kind of gathering all the information. So if it doesn't have all of your information for your specific neighborhood, um, please, please keep checking back because KW is making updates to this constantly. So I'm just waiting for the Savannah option to load. And this is how it's going to actually go ahead and replace this information over here with information specific to the neighborhood that I selected. So while that's getting ready, it'll um, basically show you how many active listings you have, um, how many are pending, the average days on market, and then the average price per square foot. And all of, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And it's actually just an image, which is really cool because with these WeBrand templates, you can click on an image and then put it anywhere you want on the flyer, but the um, best option is to just put it right over the one that you're gonna be replacing because it'll fit it for you automatically. Ooh, well, it was when I tested this out, let's see. So you can also, if you wanted to, go ahead and resize it um, simply by clicking on the image and then dragging it from any of the corners. So then I'll have my information for a specific West Savannah neighborhood. It'll have the active listings, pending listings, days on market, and then price per square foot. 
So to further customize it, because it's going to have um, just the basic kind of placeholders for the logo and then the agent headshot and information. So we're gonna go over to the images option. And you can add pictures, you can upload them from your computer, you could import them from social media. Um, so here's an option to go ahead and add new images. Company will have um, company logos and it's really cool if you click on stock images, they have a bunch of free stock photos you can use. So if you didn't wanna use this cute little puppy, you can click on stock images and you can replace it with any photo, uh, maybe something that looks like the neighborhood you are trying to market to. And you can just basically drag and drop it. When you hover over the image, it's gonna replace it for you. And then you can adjust it further. So I want it to be a little bit more centered around that door. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot it over. And I like that it shows you kind of the grid lines. Um, so it's showing me right now that it's kind of centered in between the text part below. And then my library, we have Scott's photo over here. So of course I'm gonna replace um, the placeholder photo with Scott. And again, if you just drag it and basically drop it right over the photo you want to replace, it should go ahead and automatically crop it and everything for you. And same with the um, KW logo that we have saved in here as well. Oh, that one didn't quite do it. So yes, if needed, you can just go ahead and drag them and kind of customize the size of the photos too. So for this information, you can either double click on it to enter the text box. And then if you highlight it, or if you kind of triple click in there, it'll go ahead and highlight all the information and then you can start typing right over it. So same with the information below, double click, and then I'm going to enter um, our phone number, our email, our website. Etc. And then if you need more space, you can always adjust that text box too. So the same way you adjust the pictures, you basically click on the box until it gets the um, highlighted dots around it, and then you can drag and drop it using the corners. So once you have your information in here for your specific area, you can change out the header, you can change the description for the neighborhood. Pretty much every single field on here is customizable, which is great. Um, so once you have it the way that you want it, you're going to want to probably save it. So we'll do, oops, West Savannah snap. And then when you click on done, it'll ask you don't save or save. So of course you're going to want to save your design. And now it'll show up under your design templates. So like I mentioned earlier, you do have the option to save it as a PDF and then print it out from anywhere. Um, so you can actually do this option before you save it as well, or you can go back into it kind of just the way I did. And then when you do download, it'll give you the choice to save it as a JPEG or a PNG. So these are great if you want to save it as an image to email blast it to people or to post on your Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or anything, you can save it as a picture. But to print, you can do PDF and we're gonna do current design. So it's just the flyer that we made right now. And then you can do standard web quality or um, if you're gonna be using it to give out to um, potential clients at open houses or while you're door knocking, I recommend doing the high resolution print quality. And then you can do start download. So since it is higher quality, it might take a minute to download. Oh, mine just popped up. And as you can see, it looks great. So the quality is good, the image is clear, and we have his headshot. Oh, looks like I need to update our logo so it shows up um, with the proper colors. But here's a neighborhood snap that we added specifically for West Savannah. And then of course, if you edited your text, you could have it there too. And then it is print ready, which is awesome. So if you have any questions on this, please feel free to email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. And again, um, this feature is still being worked on too. So don't, don't get discouraged if you're looking for your specific neighborhood and it says NA for some of the, um, the 
options back here, it will eventually auto-populate on its own from the KWLS.